Imagine a tree that could absorb our Earth's magnetic field and protect the Earth from most dangerous particles. This tree doesn't speak, it doesn't move, yet it holds a memory older than the pyramids, older than language itself. Found buried deep in New Zealand's muddy earth, a colossal kauri tree emerged, its rings quietly recording a time when Earth's magnetic field nearly collapsed, a moment when the sky lit up with strange auroras and radiation pierced the planet's shield. Earth has an invisible force field that deflects most of the dangerous particles. It's the area around Earth controlled by the planet's magnetic field. Now imagine Joe Rogan sitting in his podcast studio, unraveling this story with guests who believe ancient chaos still echoes in our DNA. What if they're right? What if this silent giant just proved that Earth flips and it might do it again? The Buried Giant In 2019, construction crews working near a geothermal site in Ngawa, New Zealand, hit something they didn't expect. It wasn't rock or machinery, it was wood. But not just any wood. What they unearthed was a tree so massive, it spanned over 65 feet in length and measured 8 feet wide. A fallen kauri, buried for over 42,000 years under layers of mud and time. Its preservation was almost unnatural. Trapped in swampy soil, shielded from air and decay, the tree had been frozen in time, still intact, still telling stories. Scientists rushed in, not to marvel at its size, but at its age. Carbon dating revealed it lived during a period when Neanderthals still walked the Earth. And more importantly, it lived through one of the planet's strangest magnetic events. This wasn't just fossilized wood. It was a biological recorder. Inside its rings was evidence of something big, something the planet hasn't experienced since. A weakening of the very shield that protects Earth from space radiation. A clue that the planet's magnetic field had once spiraled into chaos. And for the first time, we had a witness who lived through it. A quiet one, but loud in data. When the shield wavered. The Earth's magnetic field is invisible, Yet it's everything. It keeps compasses pointing north. It deflects cosmic radiation. It guards our atmosphere like an unseen force field. But 42,000 years ago, during the lifespan of this ancient kauri tree, that field faltered. Scientists call it the La Champs excursion, a period when Earth's magnetic field didn't fully flip, but came dangerously close. The shield weakened to a fraction of its strength. Cosmic radiation, normally held at bay, rained down harder and the kauri tree absorbed it all. Each year, as the tree grew, it formed a ring, and locked inside those rings, carbon-14, created when high-energy particles slammed into the atmosphere and transformed nitrogen. The more radiation, the more radiocarbon. And the spike they found in this tree wasn't subtle. It was sharp and sustained, marking a time when Earth's natural defense had thinned to a whisper. It's the first time any single living organism has recorded the entire La Champs event from start to finish. Not just a slice, the whole arc, from stability to breakdown to recovery. And while this magnetic wobble didn't flip continents or trigger Hollywood-style cataclysms, it wasn't harmless either. The planet, quite literally, was exposed. Earth Under Strange Skies Imagine walking outside and seeing the northern lights not just in Alaska, but in the skies over Africa or India. During the La Champs excursion, that may have been reality. As the magnetic field weakened, auroras, those colorful dances of charged particles, likely spilled far beyond the poles, painting unfamiliar skies with ghostly light. But it wasn't just beautiful, it was dangerous. With the shield down, ultraviolet rays surged. The ozone layer, already delicate, took a hit. Some researchers suggest that this spike in radiation altered weather patterns or nudged climates into colder, drier phases. Australia's megafauna, giant creatures like the Diprotodon, a wombat the size of a car, started to vanish. And around the same time, Neanderthals disappeared from the archaeological record. Coincidence? Maybe? But there's a growing sense that this wasn't just another chapter in Earth's history. It was a turning point. Early humans likely noticed something was off. Some theories propose that cave art flourished during this time, not just as a culture, but for survival. Red ochre handprints, for instance, might have doubled as primitive sunscreen against harsh UV rays, a silent adaptation to an invisible threat. 
The skies changed, the air changed, and humanity, perhaps, changed with it. The tree that took notes. It's hard to imagine a tree as a witness, but that's exactly what this cowrie became, a silent recorder of environmental chaos. Each ring inside it is a chapter, a snapshot of a year lived through radiation, shifting skies, and magnetic instability. And unlike ice cores or sediments, tree rings are alive in their own way, built by the seasons, shaped by the sun, and etched by the invisible forces that touch everything on Earth. This tree recorded a 1,500-year lifespan, growing steadily during the La Champs excursion. That means it saw the entire event unfold, the slow weakening of the field, the peak of cosmic bombardment, and the long return to magnetic balance. Researchers studied its rings using a method called dendrochronology, dating each layer precisely and measuring the radiocarbon trapped inside. What they found matched ice cores from Greenland and sediments from the sea, a global event, confirmed in wood. But the Kari added something unique. It didn't just say this happened. It told us when, how fast, and how intense. It offered context, a timeline, a rhythm to the magnetic heartbeat of the planet. And suddenly, a buried tree became one of Earth's most reliable historians. Rogan, theories, and magnetic mayhem. Now step into Joe Rogan's studio, a place where ancient history, fringe science, and curiosity collide. Over the years, guests like Jimmy Corsetti and Randall Carlson have sat across from Rogan, spinning theories about lost civilizations, Earth resets, and magnetic field flips. And while the Cowrie tree doesn't get name-dropped, its story lives right in the heart of these conversations. Corsetti, for instance, champions a theory known as the Adam and Eve story, based on a controversial declassified CIA document. CIA in the 50s discussed something called the Adam and Eve story, written by a doctor named Chan Thomas back in the 50s. It claims that every 6,500 years or so, Earth undergoes a magnetic catastrophe, one so violent it sends oceans flying and crushes entire civilizations. Winds at 1,000 miles per hour. Instant upheaval. Rogan listens closely, not to endorse, but to understand. Could something like that really happen? He asks. Are we overdue? Carlson, a geologist with a taste for the dramatic, points to tree ring anomalies and ice core data as proof that Earth has seen sudden changes before. He doesn't mention the Kauri by name, but he might as well. That tree is the physical version of what these theories try to chase, a record of something big. And on JRE, that something big is always worth a closer look. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Science versus storytelling, what the tree really says. The story Corsetti tells of rapid flips and civilization ending chaos sounds thrilling, but the Cowrie tree doesn't support it. In fact, it says the opposite. The La Champs excursion wasn't sudden or catastrophic, it was slow. The magnetic weakening took centuries. From first signs to full recovery, nearly 800 years passed. The tree's radiocarbon records are intense, but not apocalyptic. More radiation, yes, but not the end. Brendan Riley from Columbia says there's no evidence for Corsetti's rapid flip theory. Carlson is closer to the data. He likes tree rings and ice, but still leans into what if more than what is. This is where Rogan shines. He doesn't claim to know. He asks. He balances science and speculation. The quiet rhythm of a tree versus the chaos of collapse. And that's the point. Sometimes the truth isn't dramatic. It's subtle, slower, harder to sell, but far more powerful. Because while the wild theories shout, the cowrie just shows, etched in wood year by year, what really happened. A field in decline. What's happening now? So, that was then. But what about now? Earth's magnetic field isn't just wobbling in the past, it's shifting in real time. Over the last 170 years, it's weakened by roughly 9%. The North Magnetic Pole is on the move too, racing from Canada toward Siberia at nearly 25 miles a year. Scientists are watching this drift closely, wondering if it's an early sign of another excursion. Unlike our ancestors, we've got a lot more to lose. Our world runs on satellites, navigation systems, and power grids, all of which depend on a stable magnetic field. A big solar storm during a weakened phase could fry circuits, 
kill satellites, and plunge parts of the world into blackout. We're not at La Champs levels yet, far from it. But the trend has scientists concerned. Models suggest a full reversal takes thousands of years, but a mini-excursion? That could happen faster. The Kauri tree showed us what a weakened shield looks like. Today, we're beginning to feel the early tremors, not in the ground, but in the sky, the data, and the tech we depend on. Nature's other witnesses. The Kauri isn't alone. Nature's archives are everywhere. Ice cores from Greenland and Antarctica hold air bubbles and isotopes from the past. Around 42,000 years ago, they show the same radiocarbon spike. The planet's magnetic shield faltered globally. Ocean sediments tell the same tale. Buried magnetic grains shifted as the field wobbled. In the Pacific and Black Sea, those patterns line up with the La Champs timeline. Even caves chime in. Stalagmites in China show mineral changes matching that same event. Different places, different materials. One signal. The Kari may be the star, but it's backed by a worldwide chorus. Nature remembers. And together, these records warn us, gently, firmly, that the shield can fall again. The Earth doesn't shout its secrets. It leaves them buried, in trees, in ice, in stone. One ancient Kauri, pulled from the mud of New Zealand, turned out to be more than a relic. It was a witness, a living logbook of a time when the sky shimmered strangely and the planet's shield went silent. Joe Rogan and his guests chase these stories, blending fact and speculation. But this tree? It doesn't need theories. It was there. And now, as our own magnetic field shifts again, its rings are more than just history. They're a warning, whispered across 42,000 years.